Proverbs 31 is not intended to be a comprehensive checklist that women are expected to live up to or that men can use for kind of their criteria. It rather offers us a composite. If women are involved in this kind of activity, then this is what wisdom would look like. If they're involved in this kind of activity, then this is what wisdom could look like. In all of the varied activities that are described in Proverbs 31, this tells us what wisdom would look like in that area. It's not a suggestion that women are supposed to do all of them or be involved in all of them. And so therefore, it's not trying to tell you all the activities you should engage in. It's rather showing you what wisdom is supposed to look like if you are in that situation.